Hey, Matt. Tommy, how are you? I'm well, thanks. How are you? Great, thanks for coming out. So is this the fence you wrote me about? Yes, it is. You can see it's got a little bit of a sag. Yeah. We got some wiggle over here. Yeah, yeah, looks like you got a wobbly post here, too. <laughs> Indeed. I notice that the lattice work is a little bit loose. And this little cap keeps coming off. Okay, well, that's an easy fix. We can put a couple of nails in that. But let's look at this gate. Okay. All right, so this is a gate that it looks pretty nice, but I can actually see that it is sag. Mm-hmm and it's built by three pieces to simulate a mortise and tenon joint. And uh, I don't know if the gate is still square, but it looks like it's sagged a little bit, so we have to try to pull that back into position and, and straighten it up. And we definitely need to see what we can do about this post. If you're up for it, I'll get some tools and we can get started. Sounds great. Thanks. All right, I'll be right back. want to figure out what's going on with this post. Okay. We're going to dig down and see what we have. I see that there is a little bit of surface rot on the post below grade here, as you can see. It looks like about a half an inch. It's actually still pretty solid down there. Quite frankly, I think you've got maybe eight to ten years left in the entire fence and it's gonna be a lot more costly to replace the fence than just repair this post for now. So I could stiffen this up. You get another eight to 10 years out of the fence and then you replace the whole thing. It's your call. Sure, if you can get the post to last to the end of the life of the fence, I think that makes sense to stiffen it up. Now we're gonna set the post and we have to hold it plumb. I'm good. And hold it in position with a scrap piece of wood and a stake in the ground. I'm not gonna set the post in concrete or gravel. Instead, I'm gonna use a two-part expanding foam. I'll break the seal and mix it over my knee for about 15 seconds. Once the foam expands and hardens, it will secure the post in place. And it takes about an hour to two hours for it to set, depends on the temperature outside. While that's setting up, we can work on this gate. Now I know that it's out of square, but just by looking at the squares in the lattice work, I can see that they've turned into a parallelogram because that side of the gate has sagged. But a good way to check that is we're gonna measure diagonally to see if that number is equal. Before we measure the diagonals, we wanna make sure that the gate is parallel in both directions. That measurement needs to match this measurement, which it does. And that measurement equals the other side. So it's a parallelogram. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from inside this corner. I'm going to hold my tape. Now you have to make sure that you hold that position of that tape in the same orientation when you go to that corner. Got it. So I'll check the measurement here. I've got 53. This one here is 52. The other side was 53. The difference is one inch. Divide that in half. That means that the gate is about a half an inch out of square. We have to raise this side up. Let me show you with a framing square what I mean. Okay. If I take the framing square and I hold it on the bottom tight right here. And I hold it so it hits right here. See the space? Yep. It's out of square. What I want to do is I need to pull this side up. And I'm gonna to try to do that with a clamp by putting the clamp diagonally from corner to corner and tightening it. I should be able to pull it up, but I don't wanna damage the wood. So I made a couple of blocks to fit in the corner that will go under the clamp. Put it in the corner, move the clamp up tight to the block. By tightening the diagonal, that should be pulling that side up. Let's take a quick measurement, see how it is. Go right under the clamp, hold it in the same orientation that you did before. 
Right now, I'm 52 and 5 eighths. I'm an eighth of an inch too high. Okay. And that's what I'm gonna keep it. I wanna be a little bit too high, so it'll settle down. Makes sense. To hold the gate square, I've made these brackets, and we'll screw them in the corner, and that will add the stability of the gate. Okay. Perfect. I want to put a couple of screws in the corners also, just to be on the safe side. Once the foam is cured, I'm going to cover the top with about six inches of soil. We're going to tighten up the lattice on the fence using a quarter crown staple, one inch long. And also reattach that cap to the post. We'll tip it up. Let me get a screw. I got it right here. Take it to you. Watch your fingers there to get on the inside. There it is. Right, come a little past that post, down. Right there with that one. All right, so what I did is I cut this block to fit the corner of the house. I measured the gap that you had there. That's about a half an inch, so that's a little bit less. Okay. So I'm gonna pull the post out, put that against the concrete. I wanna line it up like that and hold the post tight. All right, Matt, everything's fixed up. Good as new. Looks good, nice and solid. What do you think? Looks great, Tommy. Much sturdier than before. It's got no sag. Yeah, the gate works, everything else. I really like this. these brackets that you made. That, that's a nice detail. Nice detail, but it also it's structural. Now, these will weather, and they'll probably blend in with the wood, probably take a year or so, but the, you'll never notice them. Excellent. All right. Well, I'm glad I could help. Thank you very much, Tommy. My I appreciate pleasure. it. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.